think I'm ready to go. Hey, thanks for tuning into this video. This is gonna be a B Fragu. Just a little life update. I've started a new job since the last video, moving to a new place, and uh, lots of things are going on. You're gonna see a new kitchen soon too, so really excited to share that with you. Thanks for being patient and being a subscriber if you're one of the current 109, and uh, let's get this going. Back at it again. We're gonna cover the bottom of our heavy bottom Dutch oven with some olive oil before we start to sear off our beef short ribs. We just wanna get a good color on all the sides before we set these aside and make a beautiful fawn in the bottom of this pot. That's what we're looking for right there. Uh, next we're going in with some chopped bacon which will render the fat out and uh, crispen up a little bit and then we're going to add our onions to that bacon fat. Let's take a peek inside. You can see all those brown bits on the bottom there. That's all going to just emulsify into the sauce. In with the onions. Cook those out. Scrape the bottom of the pot. Get everything nice and soft before moving on. Just enjoy the sounds and the smells as you progress through each step. And make sure you season in layers just like this. And in. Clear a space out and then put about a little over a teaspoon of tomato paste and stir it in with your onions along with some chili flakes for some added heat. Just continue cooking this down until everything's fragrant and those onions are nice and soft. Next, going with some evenly chopped carrots in those little cubes like that. Kind of cute. Equal parts celery going in next. And then mix around. Don't add your garlic just yet. We're going to add that last so it won't burn. Again, more seasoning in layers like I mentioned before. Some pepper as well. and garlic last, and just give everything a nice stir around. Next, in Italian-American fashion, we're gonna go in with a glass of red wine, and we're gonna scrape everything off the bottom of the pot so it becomes part of the sauce. Reduce this wine down till it becomes syrupy like this, and just use your nose. If you don't smell alcohol, you're good. All right, next we're going in with our can of pureed San Marzano tomatoes. Don't throw the can away, we're gonna need that a little later. Just stir this around, get everything mixed together and bubbling. And again, the theme of the day, season in layers. Go in with two bay leaves. Those will stay in for the duration of the rest of the cooking time. And then we're going to go in with that can of water that I mentioned before. What water will do for you is extend your cooking time. And this is gonna be a two or three hour process. Now we're gonna tuck in our short ribs before we bring everything back into a simmer and then put her in the oven. And once it emerges from the oven, it will fog up your camera. And once the fog clears, you will see a nice layer of fat on top of this sauce. Personally me, I just stirred that in there and called it a day. Take out those short ribs, they're just gonna fall right off the bone, shred them, and then add that meat back into the sauce. And we're gonna get ready for serving in just a moment. And what remains should be this fatty, tomato-y, slightly acidic, spicy beef tomato sauce. Serve this on your pasta of choice. I went with spaghetti. Uh, this would go great in layering a lasagna as well. Be sure to clean your plate like Gordon Ramsay. And enjoy. Look at that. Thank you for watching. I didn't super hold to a recipe for this, but I'll put one in the description for you. I'm not really sure how consistent my upload schedule is gonna be, but my goal is going to be two a month someday.
Anyways, I'm still having fun. Thanks for sticking with me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.